Uh, Vikesh Shabay, good morning to you. Just looking at your statement, and you've already expressed your deep disappointment that we allowed, as you say, insensitive and offensive images. Who exactly allowed this? Where does the buck actually stop when it comes to putting out advertising like this? So I think it's got to do with, with really poor process and management and control from our side. So, uh, you know, these decisions were left to relatively junior people in the organization, which is a massive learning for ourselves and will be changed immediately. And once I've settled all of these discussions, I will certainly be engaging with my senior management to understand how did this actually allow to be happen in our organization. You should be hanging your head in shame, uh, uh, Mr. CEO. Are you, are you ashamed of yourself? Well, I, I certainly am, am, am ashamed by what has happened. I am really deeply disappointed, and personally, I'm devastated by this. You know, uh, it, we certainly don't stand for this as an organisation. I certainly don't stand for this uh, as an organisation. But I cannot remove, uh, you know, what has happened. And all I can do is make sure that our organisation becomes far more racially sensitive uh, moving forward. Uh, Vikesh, I mean, you can appreciate that those words this morning might mean nothing to the majority of our population. And as Dan said earlier, that, you know, we have such deep wounds. We have, we have so many incidents. It's, it, it's not the first time something like this has happened. So you talk about what has happened, but I still would like to know how it happened. And don't you actually get to see the product before it, as CEO or your team, who gets to see it before it gets put out there? So, so, as you can understand, we list thousands of products, and, and you know, Tresemme is a big uh, brand. It's, it's listed on our website, etc. And the most senior management don't get involved in signing that off. We take an enormous amount of time overlooking, uh, you know, our typical media. We, we've been a typical brick and mortar retailer, uh, and over the last three years, we've moved into the digital space. And what has become really obvious here is that we have real gaps in our sign-off and, and oversight process, which will correct immediately but that doesn't remove our accountability it was, it was placed on our website it, it took me two seconds to, to look at this material and see that it, it's inflammatory it was it was actually disgusting but but i just don't understand why our employees uh, you know when they looked at it didn't didn't notice that so it doesn't av you know, avert the responsibility to, uh, to anyone else the job for me now is to make sure that the organization never repeats this uh, and I've got an enormous amount of work to do to actually resolve the potential either conscious or unconscious biasness that still exists in my organization. Vikesh, who, who owns Tresemme? Sorry, I missed your question. Who owns Tresemme? Who produces Tresemme? Uh, Unilever does. What, uh, have they, they said? what has Unilever said about this? Well, they've, they've put an apology up on their, on their website and, 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 and that's been about it, I think. Well, Vikesh, at this point, I think the, the country is going to want to know who is the person or the people who came up with the thinking behind this ad, who came up uh, wrongfully so, who actually came up with the concept for this ad. Have you identified, whether it's from Unilever, Tresemme, your ad, whoever it is, have you identified the people who thought this atrocious thing up? Uh, certainly within our organization, of course, we have. We, we know who loaded this onto our website. The one thing I do want to make categorically clear, though, we did not create this content. Yeah? So, so, again, I cannot divert the accountability, but, but it's in two parts. The content was created. The advert was certainly not uh, you know, instigated by ourselves, etc. Uh, but we, we loaded it on our website. We should have had far greater oversight and, and been much more sensitive, but, but we certainly didn't create the content. I think we need to speak to Unilever and whoever is the creator of Tresemme's adverts because this is shockingly racist. I mean, you've now issued a statement, uh, Vikesh, as clicks who with, you carry one of the products, of course, is Tresemme that you put on your shelves. So just tell our viewers very quickly, what action, if any, has been taken? Because EFF, they are protesting outside some of your stores this morning. They sent you a letter last week demanding certain actions. What actions have you taken as clicks? So, so there's, there's a few things. Firstly, we've obviously suspended the, the employees that have loaded this on our website. How many they employees? How many employees? Uh, there, were, there were two employees uh, that, that loaded this onto our website, obviously an employee and a, a manager that, that, that signed that off. Okay. Uh, so, so the next thing we have done is done an immediate audit of all our third-party material because we receive material from many uh, other sources. You know, we, we've typically been a brick-and-mortar retailer for, for over 50 years. Uh, digital and online, etc., has been relatively new for us. So it's highlighted the amount of work we have to do with not just receiving, 
third-party material and, and posting it uh, on our website. Uh, I've spent the weekend, you know, uh, consulting across the organization because, because myself, I, I'm really deeply disappointed by this. I, I couldn't believe this happened within our organization because until Thursday, I thought we were in the right direction around transformation. We're doing an enormous work uh, here. You know, 60% of our board is black. More than 80% of our employees are, are black. But what I've come to realize is actually I still have a lot more work to do in the company. I can always pass the buck to, to, to Unilever, which I'm not doing. I can do what I can within my organization to make sure that this doesn't repeat itself. And before I came out to the media today, you know, I, I don't just want to make a, a random arbitrary statement. I want to make sure that I can fulfill what I'm saying. And, and certainly, you know, over the next uh, few months, uh, I will be personally involved in, in driving the transformation agenda in my company. Uh, Vikesh, and I'm just going to ask a question that I'm sure most South Africans are wanting the answer to this morning. You mentioned that you have uh, suspended, I think it was two employees, and I suppose the obvious question is, are they black or white? Uh, uh, so so I, think, I think it, I wouldn't want to state that. I really wouldn't, wouldn't want to give up their race, et cetera, because I think we all accept accountability for this. But I think you know, that it is, it is vital to basically who's in what position when it comes to sure. sensitivity and putting material like this out. So I think I'm not yeah. asking you for their names. I just want to know sure. whether they, they're black or white, and that would give you something to think about as to who does what in your, in, in your organization. No, 100%. What I can say to you is that the team that does look after all of the material have two black people in it, a colored manager, and two white staff members. So it's quite a diverse team that works within our marketing area. And how this slipped through them, I, I, I quite frankly am still investigating uh, and will have to understand. But, but you know, you, in this world, you also have unconscious biasness. And that's something that I think is a lot harder to fix unless you have programs that continuously remind and drive, uh, you know, the need for, for diversity and inclusivity in any business. So, and that's the path that I will now take to make sure that we, we have a program, but to revive it, to put it into action, uh, and to make sure that it's top of mind for, for all individuals at our head office. Thank you very much.